commonly known white-handed kivin or la kivin scientific name is hylobats la this kivin got their name which is white-handed kivin from the white colored hair that covered their head and feet when the kivin becomes adults they will have a ring of white hair around their hairless face female and male kivins will have fur coloring varying from brown creamy or black the average height of kivin is about 18 to 25 inches and they will weigh around 11 to 17.5 pounds the female and male kivins live about the same amount of time which is up to 30 to 40 years these kivins usually lives in trees of tropical and lowland forests they can be found in peninsular malaysia La given spends most of time above the ground which makes them to occupy with long arms and hooked hands. This makes them to be masters of agility where they can leap 26 feet which is 8 meter between branches in search of food. White-handed gibbons are largely frugivorous animals, eating ripe fruit from woody climbers and tropical trees. They also eat leafy plants, flowers, and insects. White-handed gibbons are very selective feeder when it comes to fruit consumption. Fruits are tested and either accepted or rejected based on ripeness. The same food sources are returned to multiple times during peak season to eat the ripest fruit each time. White-handed gibbons are mostly monogamous. Monogamy is seen with females who live in smaller home range where resources are denser. Whereas, polyandry is seen in females who live in larger home range and good resources are not numerous. Females begin reproducing between 6 and 9 years old, but are fully sexually mature at 9. They give birth to only one offspring about every 3.5 years. Pregnancy lasts 7 months and weaning lasts about 20 months. While the average age of reproductive maturity for male is 9 years old. Sadly, this fascinating being faces a grim future, threatened by extinction. This one, a large forest, habitat shared by many, was flattened and torched down to make room for all palm plantations. Yet, this is not the only threat contribute in reforestation. Illegal logging that has been a problem for years pose a major threat to given population in Malaysia. All of these activities contribute in Malaysia becoming the highest rate of forest loss between 2000 and 2012. This lead to a sharp decline in their habitat and food source. These given are primarily forgivable and have a sensitive stomach. Without enough proper food source, almost impossible for this gibbon to sustain and survive in the remaining fractured forest. Recent study shows deforestation and habitat loss might not be their greatest threats. These white-handed gibbons, like many other gibbon species found in Southeast Asia, were hunted and poached for various reasons. They were hunted by humans for food and for use in local medicine. Others were caged and smuggled for illegal wildlife trade, especially their cute offspring. For each baby given soul, they spend and it's one other adult given or killed, which usually its mother. But lacking of care and inadequate foods, these babies usually die in the process. The La Gibbon is a precious species that must be protected. One of the conservation projects for the La Gibbon species in Malaysia is the Gibbon Conservation Society Malaysia. This is a groundbreaking project in Peninsula Malaysia. It is the first time that a dedicated service is available for endangered wild gibbon rescue and rehabilitation in Malaysia. 
This involves rewilding and releasing the species back into the forest according to the IUCN International Union for Conservation of Nature Guidelines. So this organization, the Gibbet Conservation Society Malaysia, GCSM, deserves our full support. The core of this project is the establishment of Malaysia's first official IUCN compliant primate rehabilitation center. It is located near the town of Rao in Pahang State. The center will be named Malaysian Primate Conservation Center once it has been approved. This center will act as a temporary home for our famed captive gibbons and other primates that were confiscated from wildlife traffickers. These animals will be rehabilitated using the established international protocols. The center aims to provide world-class healthcare, nutrition, rehabilitation, and pre-release training to as many primates as it can accommodate. After intensive rewilding training, the animals can be returned back into the wild so it can become a safe, self-sustainable population. Ultimately, the goal is to prevent the extinctions of these critically endangered primates. So, how can you help? There are currently several critically endangered gibbons in the Gibbon Conservation Society Malaysia GCSM. They urgently need a long-term housing, rehabilitation and daily care. It takes a lot to keep these animals with an ample supply of suitable food. This includes fruits, vitamins and baby milks for the little ones. They also need manpower to create enrichment and to upgrade the housing. The least you can help is by donating to the centre. And all donations can be channeled to the Gibbon Conservation Society.